Now, the perfect place to begin looking at finished log homes is at Dave and Kathy's. Not only because, well, there's a finished log home, but because their home has grown with their business over the years. And how many years? 30 years now. Yeah. This house, we keep teasing ourselves, took 30 years to build, but it's 30 years worth of ideas that we have here and took nine months to build. It started out as our original house, and this is an addition. The place has a lot of character. I mean, none of this was in, in the showroom. It's how it was all put together. Uh, can you point out some of the specifics? How did you pull this off? Well, it really didn't take 30 years to build it, but yeah. it's a 30 years worth of ideas and different things. And what we've tried to do was uh, put an addition on our original home with a little character and try to get a lot more of different things um, so we could kind of show people. Yeah. And uh, try to do with the logs, a little different colors, and uh, Kathy came up with some really good ideas. And you're anxious to show off your kitchen, huh? I am, I love my kitchen. Come on in, <laughs> I've got to show it you. <laughs> well, you know, we all eat, and <laughs> there's, there's something about it. I, I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. There's so many unique things in it. Dave picked out all the wood in here, and we've got the little gnarly worm holes in it. The countertops are phenomenal. This little treatment up here is great. And this is Dave's brainstorm. We needed some handles to get in the refrigerators. That's a refrigerator? That's a refrigerator. It's a wooden refrigerator. Tell me, it's an ice box, right? Actually, the Yes, whole this story is an ice box. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the whole thing was, see, it wasn't just the handles. It was that she goes and buys a refrigerator and gets it delivered and doesn't have handles. I said, well, how do you open it? <laughs> And she said, well, I told him that you were going to make the handles for it. And I'm like, no, what do I do? She said, well, can't you make something nice out of horns or something for it? So that's one of the processes that took a little bit longer to make all that, too, you know. But I like to keep him busy. I guess so. <laughs> what, uh, what made you decide to go with that's, that's tin? Yes. Form ceiling? This was the old, the original part of the house. This is where our back door was, where you'd walk in. And, well, Dave, you can kind of explain why we put the tin roof in. Well, we had some ceiling. problems with uh, going above it. We had to put a floor system in. We had some beams going across there that weren't at the proper height uh, wow. to look good. I mean, they were a little bit low, so we, they were on an angle. So we boxed it in and did it so it's square. And we thought, well, what do we put up there? And Kathy said something about a tin ceiling would be really nice. And I said, well, that's a good idea. We have that in the house. And then we didn't know what to put for trim around it because we didn't want to put crown molding, so we did some wavy edge logs. Around yeah, I, I like that. I've noticed the uh, the wavy edge over framing a lot of the, uh, the windows and doors. It's something different. Yeah. yeah, we tried to trim all our windows out and the doors out with that too, to go so it all goes together. In our living room, the logs in here, Dave actually, actually, or Dave and I both cut them down. Actually, I cut them okay. down. She had nothing to do with cutting them down. She's not strong enough for that. <laughs> but I peeled she them. Did, but she I peeled peel them. them. Well, that's an important part. She too. peeled them. You know, help peel them all, and that was a very, very hard job. And these are job. full diameter logs that you build your original home. Yes. With. Are logs okay. we cut off mm -hmm. my dad's farm, and this is really how we started our business. When well, this was our first home, and uh, it was about 1,500 square feet with a loft and everything, and it was very popular at the time. And because everyone liked this house so much. They want us to do one for them. And I said, boy, all the work I did on this, you know, uh, I don't know if I want to do it again. But uh, finally we did a couple and then we figured there's got to be an easier way and a more energy efficient way of building than doing the logs like this. So we came out with a thermal log. Okay. And we started cutting the logs and notching the corners. We were the first ones to do that in the industry so that people, when they built it, because a lot of people at that time built their own home, which I would never recommend, but yeah. unless they have a lot of experience. But, you know, it, it was real good and it got us where we are today and that's how all of this happened. Just from all the ideas and the different ways of always trying to improve ourselves and improve the way that we do things. Oh, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful home. I love the color of this room. It's so relaxing and peaceful. That is all homemade? Yes. Handcrafted, I suppose I should say. Handcrafted. And the quilt Dave's sister made. Beautiful. Cuts it all, all the little pieces of fabric and puts it together. 